cross progression in games, at least to my understanding, is a lot harder than you'd think to get working. A lot of people would love to imagine it's a snap of the fingers thing, when it simply takes more work, especially for a game like Dead by Daylight. Cross progression, for those unaware, is a system in some games where progress in said games can be transferred from platform to platform like console to console or console to PC. This includes normal progression, leveling, materials, things usually gathered through playtime, but also includes monetary progression, aka microtransactions. Let's take Fortnite, for example. Linking your platforms of choice to your Epic Games account lets you play anywhere you want with everything you own. Battle Pass progression, the amount of V-Bucks you had on hand, and your cosmetics collection are transferred everywhere, aside from some console exclusives. Now, let's look at a different example, Call of Duty Warzone, or really, any of the three COD games released since 2019. Same exact thing as Fortnite. Weapon progression, battle pass rank, all of that stuff is shared across platforms. Now, what do these two games, or game and set of games, have in common that Dead by Daylight doesn't have? The answer is that Fortnite and Warzone have their microtransactions baked into your account with the devs, not the platform you're playing on. Dead by Daylight's DLC, in the simplest terms, works like a lock and key system. Upon purchasing a DLC for the game, you obtain the key to that lock content. The issue arises when the company behind the platform you play on, Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo, etc., might happen to be stubborn and not want to hand the key they made specifically for you over to the other companies. This causes a divide, and is where the issue rears its ugly head for console players. The companies behind these storefronts need to stop being stubborn or behavior needs to change their approach. The only reasonable idea I have is that they hold on to your data and require a second purchase of the key to unlock it. It'll take a lot of money from players, but it'll be faster than waiting for Sony and Microsoft to stop butting heads. But what about Epic Games and Stadia, you might ask? I really have no clue how they got through easily, but it's likely that Epic and Google just budged easier on it, or there's something else going on that I am not well versed on. And with that said, that's all I've got. Thanks for watching. See ya.